Hi, my name is Jack from Mike Tonsal and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today, alright? So with the implementation of e-invoice, there are multiple components that we will need to take note of, okay? To begin the implementation of e-invoice inside SQL Accounting, first you will need to link your data file to the LHDN portal. So to do this, all we just need to do is we come here to File, come here to Company Profile, okay and then of course you will need to key in their details all right so first of all let's say example i press i change the name so once i put the name here right i press search right the system will be able to pull out my registration number and the old and the new one okay so press okay and then the next thing you need to do is you come to your my invoice tab here okay you will need to know what is your tin information okay so i already have the tin information here I copy and I put it here okay okay so now if you look at the connect my invoice is grayed out right so to actually click the connect my invoice you need to press save first okay and then now you can press connect my invoice okay so because now this is a testing database what happens is I want to try it on a testing environment so if you see production here means this is live if you want to do testing, I can press I want to try on test sandbox environment. Okay, so once I press on sandbox environment, the system will then link me to the my invoice portal. Okay, so if you are not linked, you can actually go and log in using your IC number and your password, and you are going to come into this screen. Okay, so first thing you can see is here you must come to view text payer profile first. This is your my consult senior Bahad okay so the first thing you need to do is you must register your data file as an intermediary you can just scroll all the way bottom here you see there is an add intermediary function press add intermediary so they ask you for what is the tin brn and name so what happened is you can actually copy from here just press copy and then here you can press paste Then here you can press the same one. Then here you can put the name SQL ERP system. Okay. So because I've already added it in my system, so the system will automatically prompt me and say I've already added it in already. If not, you can just press continue and then you can add this uh intermediary into your in, uh transaction. Okay. So if you can come here to my intermediaries, you can see I already have the database inside here already. Okay. Right. So once we actually set up the intermediary, the next thing that you need to do is you must register this as an ERP system. So you can press here register ERP. Okay. So let's say example this is SQL accounting. We can put a name. This is for testing one. Okay. Alright. So what happens is when we set this part here, they have this thing called a secret expiration. Okay. So for us we always say maximum of three years because after one year, if you put it one year, the secret will not be valid anymore and then you cannot validate your invoice anymore so for us we always set it as three years maximum and press register okay so the system will then give me what is my erp system my id secret one secret two okay so this information is actually very important and we must always keep a copy of it so in sql accounting we have a blank box here we just press client id we copy then we press space copy press space Okay, and then copy you press paste okay so of course i already actually use this to use on the testing data file but technically speaking it should not have any this uh, authorization field error okay so once we're done we can actually press close and then your database is already connected to the LHDN portal so this is actually the first step of setting your file to be e invoice compliant uh, leave a comment below if you have a certain guide you would like us to create all right thank you